Does this pink dress go with my eyes? I wish there was a brand new color. Maybe smorange or blurple. Grebe. Try thinking of a new color. Close your eyes. No, really. Forget about the regular colors and just close your eyes and imagine a new one. I'll wait. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. So, did you discover a new color? Unless you're a superhero with superhuman vision, chances are you can't think of a new color because you've never seen a new color. But why? First, we have to look at our eyes and how they perceive and see color. When you see a color, let's use these beautiful red shoes, for example. Light hits the red shoe. It absorbs some of the light and reflects the rest. The wavelengths are reflected or absorbed depending on the properties of the object. In the case of this red shoe, wavelengths of around 620 to 750 nanometers bounce back. So when you see the shoe, the wavelengths of reflected light tell you what color you see, red. But how do our eyes and brain process this? In the back of your eye is a tissue called the retina, and that's where rods and about six to seven million cones that can only see three types of color live. So you have between 12 to 14 million cones total, or 21 million if you're really special. The rods and cones job is to spot light and tell your brain by sending an electrical signal through the optic nerve. That signal travels to the thalamus, is processed, combining and repackaging some of them into new information, and sent to the visual cortex all the way in the back of your brain, which lets you know, hey, that's a red shoe. Now that you're a master of eye science, let's talk about why our brains can't comprehend a brand new color. Our visual color spectrum consists of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Remember our old friend Roy G. Biv? Everything we see is a shade or a mix of those colors, like purple. So you're probably thinking, well, okay, what if I don't use my eyes and just imagine a new color? No cone receptions, no Roy G. Biv, just my imagination. That should work, right? Sorry. But no, our brains just can't comprehend something that it's never experienced or seen before. And let's just pretend you do see the color. You still wouldn't be able to explain or describe it. The same way you couldn't describe, let's say, blue to someone who has never seen it before. Because we can only see our own visible spectrum and nothing else. So unless we wake up one morning as a hummingbird with its four color cones and ability to see colors we can't even imagine, Yes, I'm jealous. Not only can they fly around and eat sugar all day, but they also can see colors I can't. Then we'll just have to wait for the day a scientist invents a way for us to talk to hummingbirds and hear about all the colors that they can see and then have them try to explain it to us, but then they can't because we've never actually seen it, so that means we can't process it and I... Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.